Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my crafting channel. Looking at my hair actually, I tied it back very quickly with a little clip because it's so windy outside. Um, anyway, today I'm just going to do a very quick project using these vases that I picked up quite a long time ago from Poundland and I'm never quite sure what I was going to do with them, um, but I like them and I've had them in a different colour. I think it's sage colour I've got, sage grey, um, but I had an inspiration. I've recently just painted my front door this colour. I have. Didn't mean to do it um, because of these. It was just a colour that I really, really liked and it looks amazing. It was white before and with a white surround, this colour looks stunning. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I could use these as little planters either side of my door? Um, but I don't want something that I have to keep going to water all year round um, and mess around with. So I had an idea. Why don't I use these and these, which if you remember some of my other projects where I've used the um, sort of pad light, this is the stick that would normally go in the ground. Here's your spike. So I didn't throw them away. I said I'd find a project for them one day and I have. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm really quite excited about this because I think it's going to look quite good. All right. So I'm going to pop you down here and you can see what I'm doing. All right. Okay. So I've got my heat gun. I've got my topiary balls, I've got two of them. I have actually got two of these as well. And then I've also got the leftover um, liner from the hanging baskets that I used um, for the bird bar, bird bar, bird um, house. So I never throw anything away and you will see in a minute, it's a really good job I didn't. So first thing I need to do is I need to put some weight into these because these will blow over really quickly. And again, recycling some Poundland items, this is what the um, greenery comes in, in their little pots. You just pull it out of the polystyrene and there's a little, well, it's, it's a weight, but it's just, I don't know what's putty or something, but it just adds a little bit of weight. Um, I'm also going really to go and get some stones to really give it a good bit of weight, but for now these will help. So I'm just going to pop them into there. I've got two at a time, like that. Okay, so they're just literally in there. And then I'm going to pop you up a little bit higher because you can't see a thing now. Okay. And then with my stick, I'm going to pop that into the middle like so. That should hold, I think. And it will. There we go. And then I'm going to fill the inside of here with stones and rocks just to give it some stability. And I just picked these up from um, the wasteland outside my house. So I'm just literally going to pack them in either side to uh, I'll probably save that for the next one. Different sizes, and different shapes. So this will give it some weight, but also wedge this in for me. I do want to try and keep this straight as possible. So I will strategically place my rocks in here I think that might be enough there we go right next thing i need to do i'm gonna put you up even higher come back Okay, is I need to glue my topiary ball to the top of this. So I've got my glue gun. I'm just going to put loads of glue around the top there. Absolutely loads. And then if you look on your topiary ball, there is a natural sort of top to it. Which she says is there. Okay, and if you just slide your... over there you go and then all I'm going to do is with my leftover um, pieces from the hanging basket is I'm going to place it around here and I will glue it in place as well um, it does come apart in places where it's quite thick which is quite handy let me just do that so I'm just going to some glue on my rocks. Glue. Let me cut that off a bit now. Okay. 
straight onto here now you could use grass if you wanted to but I just wanted a more rustic look and there you go what do you think quick and simple so I'll quickly make the other one up as well right, so I have two topiary vases which I'm going to place outside my front door and I'll show you there you go they match absolutely lovely and you can put some lights on them if you really really want to but I'm quite happy at the moment in the summer I might put some lights on them but now as you see they need the weight because it's a bit windy today see I told you quick simple and actually very cheap that cost two pound to make um so each one obviously four pound for the two but I think they're going to look really really nice outside my front door and as I said um I might put some lights on them um in the summer it's getting to winter now so probably not bother um but you know you never know i might decide to do it just on the spur of the moment all right guys i hope you enjoyed that and i hope it inspired you if you've got those vases as well so if you did don't forget to subscribe click notifications and give me a thumbs up okay see you in the next video bye